Hello everyone, welcome to Gosh Japanese Cooking. Today I want to show you how to make burrito flake onigiri. We say okaka in Japanese. And this is Sui-chan. I hope you watched my previous onigiri recipes. How was it? I'm sure. Okaka onigiri is not so famous overseas, but this is one of the popular onigiri flings in Japan. And I visited Bongo, one of the specialty onigiri shop, the other day. And okaka, this recipe is one of the top five. So I'm happy to share my family recipe today. During this video, I'll show some tips and techniques to make delicious bonito flakes on nigiri. So please watch until the end. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Here are the ingredients. Okay, let's make okaka, the onigiri flakes. So we use bonito flakes. And we season this bonito flakes with using sesame oil and soy sauce. And I want to add a little bit toasted sesame seeds. It's so delicious. So I like this one. Okay, let's start to heat. The medium heat. Please grab one handful of needle flakes. And, and let's make into small sizes. Now we toast bonito flakes until you smell the good flavor from bonito flakes. So good already. And be careful, it's easy to be burned. Please stir occasionally like this and turn to low heat. Looks so good. Now it's time to add the seasonings. Half tablespoon sesame oil and also half tablespoon soy sauce. Ooh. Now it's stir. Then now let's turn off the heat. Ooh, smells so good. Soy sauce and sesame oil mix all together and absorb it in a smoked bonito flakes. Yeah, perfect. Then, I want to add a little bit very nutty flavor. So I will add one teaspoon sesame. Yeah, it's so super easy. The onigiri filling is done. Okay, now let's move to the container. It's good smell from the sesame oil and soy sauce. Then <sighs> also a bonito flakes. So I prepared Japanese rice. And here's water. Nori seaweed. Okay, so let's make onigiri. So at first, please wet your palm. I make onigiri with using hand today. Now let's grab and let's put okaka. And let's add a bit more rice over the okaka. And now let's squeeze a little bit, a little stronger at first. Then roll, lightly push and roll. Please make Mountain shape. Roll. And push, push. And I put salt on my palm and season the onigiri. Okay, now let's make the next one. I grab the rice and put the okaka inside. Okay, I cover okaka with using extra rice. And I put salt on my palm and put the salt on the surface. And onigiri is done. You can see okaka a little bit. I will form triangle shaped onigiri. I put onigiri on the nori seaweed and cover the onigiri along the side with onigiri. And put. Yeah. And don't forget to add excess okaka on top so that you can easily recognize. Bonito flakes onigiri is done! And then onigiri, there are so many shapes. Usually you can see triangle shape at convenience stores, but these days you can see the round shape onigiri and oval shape onigiri in a bento box. So I want to show you those shapes too. Okay, so at first, oval shape. So again, please wet your palm and let's grab. Let's put okaka inside. And let's cover okaka over the excess rice. You have to care about the side. Roll, roll, roll. And at the end, please push aside. And to make oval shape, we put nori seaweed roll. So cute. Round the shape on the giving. Round shape is also very cute. And then maybe round shape is more easier than making a triangle shape. Just roll. And also, don't forget to push aside. Round the shape on the And then nori seaweed can be like this. Yeah, like that. So there are so many shapes for onigiri. Bonito flake onigiri is done! 
So let's try tasting. In my family, we usually eat onigiri at breakfast or lunch, or we bring onigiri for picnic. So I prepared the Japanese style breakfast today. So I prepared a miso soup with tofu and wakame seaweed and okaka onigiri, bonito flakes onigiri, and salt dishes. Okay, let's try tasting okaka bonito flakes onigiri. Itadakimasu. But before that, I want to sip a miso soup. Mm. Good. <laughs> Delicious. Okay. A little bit crunchy texture from toasted bonita flakes. The soy sauce and sesame oil goes well with all the flavors. I taste umami as well. And sometimes I feel nutty taste from toasted sesame seeds. It might be a bit salty for children. So in this case, please a bit soy sauce. And in Japan, we eat everything without order, so and then you can sip the miso soup and then you can eat whatever you like. I eat fruits at the very end. That's my role. And then after making bonito flakes okaka, you can use this for topping for other dishes like steamed vegetables. You can put you can sprinkle this bonito flakes. It can be used as a toppings or seasonings. It's going to be very Japanese flavor. So I recommend to use this for many other dishes. Okay, so how was the recipe today? Okay, do you remember the tip? And tip, please mash the bonito flakes when you buy the big chunk bonito flakes so that you can make easy bonito flake fillings. Tip, please toast the bonito flakes very well, but be careful not to burn because it's easy to be burned. And tip, please always use Japanese rice to make onigiri. And if you don't know how to make steamed rice, Please check my other videos how to make Japanese rice with using rice cooker and those who don't have rice cooker I already filmed the other video how to prepare Japanese rice with using pots So please check those videos When you have a question, please always ask me And this recipe also goes to my recipe app It's free and it's called Recipe by YJC Recipe by YJC You can Japanese cooking So please download and please carry to your local supermarket when you feel like making Japanese foods. And if you watch this video for the first time and don't know about me, please go to my food and travel blog by jc.tokyo. Special thanks to Mario and Luigi. Always very quiet. Okay, so thank you for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye, matane. Sayonara.